So Jaroma, the Kayamata madam, who has been trending all over social media because of the problem, the issue she has with Regina Daniels, is now generating a lot of comments online. People are reacting to it. And recently, somebody made comment, Kayamata madam, that doesn't have a husband. So when I checked the internet and I realized that the sister-in-law actually called her out for posting her ex-husband when they're no longer together. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky Series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. Also hit that red subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. That way you get our latest updates. So the beef between Hawa Saidu Mohammed, popularly known as Jaruma, and the Nollywood actress Regina Daniels has taken another turn. Jaruma has involved lots of people in this case. She has called out Regina's mom, called out Moroccan wife, and she has also branded her Kayamata Niger past Morocco, Jaruma past Aladdin, saying that she's making lots of sale. And before you knew it, she's now raising 70 million naira for the victims of Ikoi collapse building because recently 21 story building collapsed in Ikoi and lots of people were trapped in the building. So she said she's raising 70 million encouraging people to buy that the money will be donated to them whether she remit the money i don't know that story for another day then a lot of people have been calling her out some people are saying that she is a kayamata seller without a husband if you can remember in august the ex-sister-in-law called her out saying that she should stop posting her brother that they are no longer together that she should stop deceiving her followers and these are some of the posts that the lady made on instagram the lady's name on instagram is i am annette esabo jerema was once married to ross esabo and they stayed for I think they live for three years. They have a son together. Today, they're no longer together. So, the lady once called her out. And now, because she's all over internet, with this case of her and Regina, Regina breaching the contract, whereby she gave her 10 million naira to promote her product. And Regina decided to promote it for only three times. And uh, finally, she came out to say that even she did not use the product. So, she's trying to say that Jeremiah product doesn't work. That's the point she's trying to make and some of Nigerians are arguing that she actually used it. That she's only denying because she has been called out because of what is happening. That very soon it will backfire and if actually the love is not original, the water will find its level. And some people believe that she did not use it. That Nedungoku actually fell in love with her because she's a young girl. It's only Nedungoku that will be able to say if she used the Kayamata or not. Sadly, the whole transaction of the Kayamata 10 happened in his house. So, back to Jaruma's story. You can remember when Jaruma put to bed, the news making waves on the internet said that she had twins. But from this story now, the lady is saying that Jaruma and her husband got blessed with a son, not twins, that the name of their son is Hawa Saidu Mohammed. After Jaruma posted the video of her riding on the back of her former husband in order to tell people that they're still together that her kayamata is working her former sister-in-law by name i am annette isabo on instagram exploded saying that her brother ross and jaruma have been separated for a while now and they kept it secret because they didn't want to entertain unnecessary drama actually she was chatting with somebody and the person wrote okay so what's the issue now this afternoon a friend of hers sent a post by jaruma that clearly portrays a lie that she's still with her brother Ross. She went on to say that they've separated for almost two years. She had blocked all the Sabo's family and have not communicated with any of them in over two years. This is a woman that they loved and accepted against all odds, but they never knew her intentions would be to tarnish their image unnecessarily. And she went on to talk about how disrespectful riding on the brother's back, the meaning to a man who at least fathered her child, that she wished to send her a warning to cease from posting anything that relates to her brother or relates to her brother or their family that if she keeps at it she will have to eventually let the cat out of the bag with receipts that may shock her for the rest of her life they have no hates for her especially because she has a handsome son for her brother whom they love so much but she should stop posting lies on her page to deceive people that she is still with a man who she no longer communicates with a man and she blocked on all her social media pages and i don't hear him now jaruma's ex-sister-in-law that she the talk this one 
Ross Isabo has left Dubai and he's currently in Surulere where he's doing his agent work, he's a house agent. And Annette Isabo said that Jaroma, if Jaroma keeps lying to her fans about her and Ross still being married and also disrespecting her husband and their family, she will reveal Jaroma's most painful secrets to the world. <laughs> okay now, we are waiting. And Annette also confirmed that all the videos Jaroma has been posting on Instagram about her and her ex-husband are old videos. She confirmed that Jeremiah has blocked Ross and the Sabo family on social media. I understand her pain that she's infuriated after paying 10 million. It's like she didn't get the value of money of her 10 million from Regina Daniels. But there are better ways to go about it. And she has been ranting on internet on endlessly for people who are friends with Jaroma. <laughs> the day like this, she will tear you into bits. She will bite you and bite you to finish. The message I'm getting from this. Do you guys know that I never posted this divorce as content. I never posted this divorce as advert. Do you know, I was holding myself not to talk about this divorce on social media, not to talk about this divorce public publicly. I was holding myself, I was holding myself not to use it as content, as advert for Jaruma. Then you woke up by yourself. Mm -hmm. You use your own hand by yourself to tell 200 million Nigerians that you're divorced. After being married for 10 years with three or four children, all of a sudden, Jaruma entered the equation. After 10 years, you're divorced. Of course, everybody will say it's Jaruma. Everybody will point fingers at Jaruma. Is Jaruma your mate? <laughs> Is Kayamata your mate? Not the one who uh, broke the news of your divorce to the public. You know, you did that by yourself. And you guys know now. You already know. So the moment it got out, you know, in the media, I, I can't let it just slide now. Jaroma cannot just, you know, let it slide and just let it go. So Jaroma reposted some of the comments that people were saying. Out of 3,500 comments, 2,500 comments were pointing at Jaroma. Is Jaroma, is Jaroma, is Jaroma your mate? Is Kaimata your mate? Do you get? So Jaroma can let something like that go, you know? So Jaroma reposted some of the comments and, you know, she said, ah, if you want to, you know, try Jaroma's product, we're here, you know. So you need Jaroma in your life. Jaroma is a necessity in your life. If you don't have Jaroma in your life before, you need Jaroma in your life now. Someone said, Jaroma, see the final testimony of life. This one is testimony for 100 billion years. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh -huh, all the seven products you see is called um, a Niger Pass Morocco. It's called Jaruma Pass Aladdin. <laughs> so, yes. The full yes. Queen J came Aww. to take care of me. Thank you. Thank you, Queen J. I love you so, so. Thank you. The name of Akayamata is now Najapas Morocco. Come on, this lady is another alien from another planet. So after reading from Jeremiah's ex-sister-in-law and watching her videos, I'm just trying to find a correlation, a link between what she's saying about Akayamata and what her life is. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm gonna sign off here, stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. And I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.